Hi, good morning. We are learning to use how to use the Hamilton T1 ventilator, which is replacing the BB pack. It's uh, simple to use. It's got an inbuilt battery, but it's better to plug it in uh, for now. Otherwise, it will run uh, with the battery. And then we switch it on. So uh, this ventilator can ventilate from 0 to over 100 kilos and it can do invasive ventilation, non-invasive ventilation including OptiFlow uh, and CPAP so it's a very good ventilator and uh, there are two circuits which are mainly used. This is a neonatal circuit which comes with the pink attachment so that's for up to 10 kilos and then you have another circuit, the bigger circuit which is also used for CPAP. I believe there is a separate circuit for OptiPro. But if you are using CPAP, which we'll probably not be using, because either will be on our CPAP own machine, and if we are uh, transferring the child, they will be ventilated. So don't worry about the two. Just basically, bigger child over 10 kilos, and uh, smaller child up to 10 kilos. So uh, especially a bronchiolitic neonate. So this is the pink one. Uh, is that the first one we start using, Steve? Mm -hmm. So first of all, it comes with a well which very often gets lost. So you have to make sure that this goes on top of this like that. And then uh, it goes in there and you, it clicks in. So make sure it clicks in properly. Okay. And then you circuit. Do we attach the circuit first? Mm -hmm. So blue goes to blue and uh, the pink, the white goes to the pink one, although it doesn't matter because they are both ending up here. Then we remove this and then you've got the flow sensor which is again color coded so you can't get it wrong. So blue goes into blue and remember I have not connected the oxygen yet so we can test it without the oxygen. But then uh, we can connect the oxygen later. It has got an in inbuilt compressor, so you do not need to connect it to air. And this one goes into the white one. We are not using the yellow one. This is probably for the nebulization, so we'll leave that alone. And then this one attaches here. There's only one way it can go, so it goes in like that. <clears throat> At this stage, uh, we will start. So then we got to the pre-op check and it's basically a leak test. So I click. On, it has to be unfortunately calibrated every time before you use it. So it will take about 5 to 6 minutes. So you click on leak test and I'm coming closer to you can see. It says block breathing circuit. So I'm going to block it now. Free stop. So uh, it says reconnect breathing circuit. So I'll take my hand off and it gets a tick here. That means it's all done. Now I'm going to flow sensor, it says disconnect patient, we are already disconnected and then we need this one which is a which says flip flow sensor. So I have to first attach it here and then I'll, I have to flip it. So I take it off from here and attach it the other way around. I don't have to block anything now and it says calibration in progress. So it says flip flow sensor again. So we again put it back and it says calibration in progress. It does take a little longer. So you just have to prepare before you are attaching the baby to the ventilator. Obviously you continue to bag the baby in the meantime. Okay, so it's all ticked now. Everything is ready. So uh, calibration is all done. So basically you remove this, I'm going to attach a test lung, attaching a test lung just to make sure that uh, we are doing the correct thing. So then we go on to click on that, mm -hmm. okay. yep, start it. Mm -hmm. So you click on modes and then it gives you several modes of ventilation. The most commonly used one is pressure control which is PSIMV and then you confirm it. Everything has to be confirmed for it to become active. So these are your settings, um, remember this is delta P, so this is above the peep, if you can see that, so peep is set at 5, so that's uh, delta P which is above the peep, so this pip 
will be uh, 15 plus 5 that's 20 that's the um, pressure limit that's your rate so anything you want to change you click on it change it so uh, let's say say it and then press it to confirm it I'm happy with the 20 let's say I'm going to increase the pip uh, beep, beep to 6 so there you go uh, and then you are changing your oxygen here uh, let's say I want to go down to 30 percent if I'm not connected to oxygen the ventilator will remind you to connect to the oxygen there you go and that's your eye time it will also show you the inspiratory to expiratory ratio so let's say I want to go up on the eye time the IE ratio will obviously change so uh, let's say I want to set it at 0 0.6 confirm it and then uh, you have to change the weight here so uh, you can change the weight let's say this is a, a bigger chunky baby of uh, 8 kilos confirm that and then you can start ventilation and then uh, you should make sure that the test lung is getting expanded and deflated It'll, it's saying low min the tidal volume is usually 5 mils per kilo so obviously we are on a test lung at the moment it also depends on the compliance so you should be able to have a good tidal volume here you can mute the alarms here oxygen supply failed and that means I have not connected to oxygen so you then obviously connect your oxygen to the oxygen supply or a CD cylinder if you have one. Thank you.